I'm, I'm very happy to have for the very first time a guest. Yes, yeah. a very special guest here this afternoon. Florian, uh, Dr. Florian Kretz. He's the founder and owner of uh, Precision Vision out there in Germany. And in my opinion, personally, I believe he's one of the most uh, yes, innovative eye surgeons throughout Germany, not only when it comes about uh, uh, new product innovations or all of the new surgical technologies, but also how you present yourself in social media, how you do your patient marketing and so on, how you interact with industry and other doctors and so on. That's uh, super powerful how you do that. And I'm happy to have you here. And uh, you will give us an insight about your story, which you're having with our board of Patrick's uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thomas, for the introduction, and it's a real pleasure to share why we actually chose to bring Earthly as a FACO machine in one of our centers. Um, the Pharos is the one machine that I use in a single operating room center right now, but we do have seven other FACO machines from other manufacturers as well. But there was a specific reason why we chose this FACO machine at that location. I think the key question for everybody is always, why do you choose which machine and for what are you going to need it? So I think a modern OR is basically built on the technology that you have in your OR. And that starts with the FACO machine, with your microscope and with your patient beds to optimize your workflow because the workflow is actually what makes a real uh, difference. And that's why before we chose a new uh, machine for this room, we did test several FACO machines and look for specific reasons. One main reason was the economic driven parameters in that. So how can we reduce our procedure costs for each patient and still offer patient safety and good outcomes. Um, the other thing is if you only have one theater and you're only there once a week, uh, you need to be versatile. You need to have the option that you can do any procedure that you need with one machine. And the other very important part is always the machine needs to work when you're there, otherwise you have to reschedule all the patients. And, for, and that's for, one of the main factors why we were testing Earthly and then later decided also to buy it. And one reason for me was is you have a very small, versatile machine. You have a lot of space around it. It's not as big and bulky as the other FACO machines, but you have lots of options that you can use with that machine because you can not only do cataract surgery, you can also go into glaucoma surgery. You can use day packs, at least in Germany, to reduce your running costs. You have a very uh, efficient FACO hand pieces and it's very easy to use and very easy to use for my um, nurses as well. With exchanging the packaging, exchanging the bags, uh, refilling and it gives you a lot of options for reprogramming. So usually I'm operating my FACO machine and going through all steps, not my nurse. So they don't work on the FACO machine as all, all they do is they prime and fill the hand pieces. The other thing is, if you want to work efficient, you need a good pump system. And often, if you look at Venturi machines, you have the problem that you need a direct air pressure in your OR. What we in this situation did not have, so I was dependent on getting a machine that has a compressor on its own, or works in some house with an optimization of the peristaltic pump, like the Faros, to give me that Venturi effect and keep up the speed for the surgery. And that is the one thing that you can actually achieve with using the speed uh, function of the Faros machine, that you have a kind of uh, Venturi effect in your FACO, so you have vacuum the whole time and you can work with a high occlusion and you can also work with very high vacuum levels. And especially if you do a lot of femto FACOs, that high vacuum is really what reduces your FACO that you use usually. The other thing is when you work a lot with femtofaker is you have small pieces so you want to have a high rate of occlusion. You don't want that much turbulences in your anterior chamber and that is really where the tip design comes in and plays a great role to have that holdability in front of your tip and not have all the turbulence in the anterior chamber. And you can see here the explanation why the easy faker works that simple and it's just a change of the lumen of the tip from the anterior part where you have your occlusion going down um, to basically the piping path 
and uh, having it fitted with a sleeve. So you keep the anterior chamber stability up with those uh, sleeves very well and still have a high rate of occlusion. So you only use your phaco when you really need it instead of having all the turbulence in the anterior uh, chamber. And the other benefit is if you have a high rate of occlusion, you also have less fluidity leaving the anterior chamber and that making the peristaltic pump so efficient, keeping your stability without having the fluctuations of the capsule in those cases. And if you compare it to a regular phaco tip and you can see it, there's only a small deviation from the opening of the phaco tip to actually the piping, meaning that the vacuum level in that pipe is not that high. If you go smaller, like in the easy phaco tip, you already see you have a much higher vacuum power in the piping, giving a better occlusion of those pieces. And especially when you chop and take your quadrants out, you really have them stuck into your anterior tip uh, without any fluctuations. And that is one of the key aspects that makes your phaco and your surgery also faster. Because you can stop to fish for the pieces, you can grab them and hold them. But you can see that later also in a video explained a little bit easier. I don't know who's working with the early tips. You can also see that the surface of the tip is larger because there is a um, high degree of angulation on it and that really gives you the opportunity to hold everything you want to hold in front of it especially compared to other machines where you have a more straight tip and that also reduces your overall faker power and just gives you a little bit more efficiency and that's just like one of the cases um, the theater we use in right now, I don't even have a camera system at the moment. But you can really see you have a high degree of followability and holdability on your phaco tip with hardly any fluctuations. And that gives you a great chamber stability and you actually become much faster with your phaco in those cases. So we currently run with the Faros on a setting of eight patients an hour because we have a very uh, fast turnaround time with the machine. The day packs make it very simple. You just exchange the tubing every, um, for each case and every six cases you use a new pack. And with this, you can really enhance your patient flow. And that's a key aspect because also the priming time is significantly lower than with other bigger FACO machines. So there's nothing really special about it. It's just that you can save a lot of time. If you look at the chamber stability because of the design of your sleeves, you can really see the chamber stays very stable. Because here you have a sleeve that's custom designed for that tip. And because the piping is significantly smaller than in other phaco tips, you have more volume cooling down the phaco tip, but also more volume coming out of the openings, keeping your chamber stable, even on lower pressure rates. The other benefit of the customization is you can customize um, your single FACO steps and you can use your regular continuous, you can work with a pulse mode or you can work with a burst mode or you can combine it. And as you can also program the foot pedal, you can really go through each step forward and backwards very easily. While some other machines you always have to go in a circle and you can't go back. And that makes it very handy because you don't need your nurse to adjust it for you. You are in full control of each step of the procedure. The other thing is that even if it's a small FACO machine, it's one of the FACO machines offering you other options, um, like thermal coagulation of the capsule to do a more stable capsulotomy that you can even perform underneath the iris um, and you still know that your capsulotomy won't drip because you're cutting through badly uh, with high frequencies. If you go back looking at the pumping system, um, the speed, it's a combined pump, so you have Venturi combined with peristaltic, but it's more a Venturi effect than an actual Venturi pump, giving you the option in the speed system that you actually have a very high vacuum, making softer lenses easy to be extracted, but you can also work with a really low flow rate. So our average flow is only around 20. And um, that gives you a high efficiency because in most other Venturi modes, you can't control the flow um, without controlling the vacuum. While here, you can really adjust both parameters on your own and optimize your own outcomes. 
personally, what I like a lot is the dual linear foot pedal. Um, the reason for me is I have the maximum settings on each direction of the foot pedal and I can control it myself because my FACO goes when I swing the foot pedal. That means I can work with a really high maximum vacuum without having to use FACO. Or, on the other hand, I can even use FACO with like a smaller vacuum if I have to dig in a harder nucleus. And it's a little bit of practice in the beginning, but it really, once you control it, you don't need the nurse to press any more buttons and you don't have to adjust any FACO power anymore because you just have the full control in your foot. And that also optimizes it because you don't have to wait for the response of your nurse programming the machine for you, changing the bottle height, changing the power, changing any other parameters, because you can just put them all on your foot pedal and control it completely on your own. What is also a very nice option is you have a continuous irrigation automatically that you just switch off by the foot pedal as well. So you, um, it makes it very easy and especially you always have the stable chamber uh, also in trade. Uh, I have three surgical centers and I have three femtosecond lasers, but I also have three micropulse systems. And we still sometimes use the um, FHS for very dense lenses, for very small pupils or for children where like a Zepto handpiece doesn't fit in and you can't dock them to a laser. So there's really a great benefit and if you want to start to have a more stable uh, capsule for maybe enclaving a lens in the capsulotomy, you can just use your caliper or your callisto so you have your rexus sizing and you can use a handpiece like this and make a more stable rexus than usually that you can pull it. The handpieces are very stable, they have six pieces of crystals. Um, I like the hand pieces because they are heavier than others. And I do have the feeling compared to my other FACO machines, they last longer cycles. So usually we exchange them around every 300 to 350 cases. Here we are rather in a range of like four to 600 at the moment. Uh, every surgeon is different. I think it's nice that you have a variety of different tips of different sleeve sizes so you can adapt it to your standards, also to your standard IOLs. We fitted everything on 2.2 millimeter incisions, but we use the smallest tip um, because for me it's just more handy when I can move the tip around in the eye without stretching the incision. I know others like a smaller incision with a smaller tip, but you do have the variety and they all have the MDR already, so it's very easy and handy for everybody to pick what they feel comfortable with. Uh, what is new now, what personally I have not tried yet, is the option you can also do glaucoma surgery. Uh, in my clinic in northwest Germany, we don't have any chance to build glaucoma surgery in an ambulant way together with cataract surgery. But in Bavaria, where I have another clinic, that is absolutely possible. So it gives you a very handy option as well to not use a stand and just to basically open the trabecular meshwork. And you can see here the procedure, you just do a perforation. I don't know who is familiar with the Kahoot blade or with the trabectome, it's a similar effect, but you get a really good uh, response from the patient. And if you are able to build it together with cataract surgery, it's a procedure that elongates your surgical workflow by two minutes. And it has an effect for the patient and also another way for the turnaround. So uh, for us, it was a very good decision to say, we go with Earthly in this special OR location. It made our workflow faster than with other machines. We also use less storage there now for the packs and everything that we had uh, with other FACO machines. And that just gave us personally more efficiency. We don't even run a stereo there. We needed hand pieces that are stable that you can transport to a central sterilization unit. And that is just something that in our option uh, was perfect. And if anybody's interested, there's also a video later that you can watch. I also tested the cataracts. But there we took the cataracts to three different places in the car and in the plane to perform the surgeries to just prove that even taking it as hand luggage, you can still use it the next day in the OR without any compromises. So thank you very much for your kind attention and feel free to ask me any questions.